Dzień dobry. And sorry, I will continue in English because my Polish is not acceptable. I will say I just know a few words. Okay, <clears throat> we are a little bit in delay. I will try to do my best. Okay, so my presentation. Uh, well, okay, it now works. Current state of the stormwater management in Slovakia. Well, first of all, I would like to thank you to the conference organizers to be here and to have the opportunity to present you uh, what's going on in the neighbor states, uh, especially in my country, in Slovakia. Well, <clears throat> uh, I worked already more than 30 years on the Slovak University of Technology, but you know the life is a constant change. So now I'm, now I'm acting at the Institute of Hydrology. And well, uh, just to uh, be clear, I am specialized on the urban hydrology. So all of my presentation will be focused on the urban hydrology. So the stormwater management in cities and in urban areas. Okay, some basic facts according to the <clears throat> current status of the sewerage in Slovakia. Nearby, two-thirds of the inhabitants are connected to the public sewerage systems. Well, more than 1,000 municipalities are equipped with uh, the public sewer systems. Uh, of total 3,000 uh, municipalities, but well, the smallest municipality has 12. 12 inhabitants, so well, <laughs> uh, the major uh, number uh, or the, the prevailing number of the municipalities is already equipped. Uh, well, but this is uh, the basic problem of the sewerage in Slovakia. A lot of the municipalities are very small, very long distances uh, for uh, constructing the, the sewer systems a lot of money needed and, well, the increase of the percentage of the inhabitants connected will be not so high in the future. 700 wastewater treatment plants. <clears throat> well, and the larger city, let's say more than 5,000 inhabitants, are typically equipped with a combined sewer system. So this is the basic, uh, well, let's say system which is used for the wastewater and, uh, of course, the stormwater management in Slovakia. In smaller municipalities, typically they build, a, we call it a incomplete separate sewer systems. It means there is only the, the sewer system for the sanitary flows, the dry weather flows, and actually, uh, well, no uh, separate sewer system for the stormwater flows. Well, in the last 10, let's say 15 years, the investment activities was focused mainly on the construction of new system because we have to fulfill the uh, requirements of the European Union. So actually, uh, construction of the new systems and now in, let's say, maybe uh, last two, three years, there is an, another issue, they call it investment debts. It means uh, the rehab large rehabilitation program for the infrastructure is needed. Uh, just for example, the capital of, of the Slovakia, Bratislava, uh, they declare, the water utility declare uh, more than 270 millions of euros is needed just to rehabilitate the parts of the sewer system which are over the lifetime. So more than one quarter of billion euro just in the capital of the Slovakia. So in this point of view, the stormwater management is a little bit pushed to the side and has been marginalized. But well, there are some activities and I would like to present what is going on. Well, as mentioned, the large cities are equipped with the <clears throat> combined sewer system and of course, they use the, the simplest way uh, how to deal with the, with the storm water. It means combined sewer overflows are very popular <laughs> on, the, on the sewer networks. And what's the 
problem in Slovakia, I think, regarding to the other countries, there is very small retention capacity of the sewer networks. Uh, in practice, it does mean there are no stormwater tanks, or let's say only few of them, on the sewer networks. So uh, actually, no water, stormwater is retained and uh, pumped back to the system to go through the wastewater treatment plants. So, uh, well, but in the modern development, uh, it means the outskirts of the, of the cities, there are uh, separate system in construction typically, and a lot of uh, this uh, stormwater, modern method of the stormwater management are in use. Uh, well, but the problem still remains the old city centers where there is no place for retention tanks, actually no place for some infiltration devices and so on. Well, one basic point what is in Slovakia, the <clears throat> stormwater is charged. So, in fact, you have to pay if you release the stormwater into the public sewer system and it's charged with the same uh, sum or with the same uh, uh, sum <laughs> as uh, the tariff for the sanitary wastewater. Well, we will come back to this point in my presentation. Uh, I would like to introduce some legislation principles uh, which are now in place in Slovakia. So basically the stormwater is not defined as a wastewater, it, it is uh, defined as a surface runoff water. So, and because of this, it could be handled a different way than a normal wastewater. Because in the leg legislation there is stated all the wastewater, or the water which is declared as a wastewater, should un undergo the primary and secondary treatment. So, the surface run runoff water, rainwater, is not a wastewater, but if you put this water into the public system, it becomes a wastewater, and you have to pay for this uh, removal and for the cleaning. So, <clears throat> it's, I think this is a very progressive step uh, in, the, in the wastewater management or the stormwater management, but there is always some but. <laughs> okay, I will explain it later. Well, if you manage the wastewater on site, so you can use uh, a simple assumptions according to legislation. There is nothing like uh, clean uh, stormwater or clean uh, rainwater. Uh, the leg legislation, the laws, they declare all the stormwater as a low polluted or high polluted or just, let's say, polluted. If the stormwater is declared as a low polluted, you can handle it on site. It means you can infiltrate it, you can release the water into the local receiving water and so on. Just there are some assumptions. You have to remove the floating matters Typically, a simple screen is enough for it. And if you want to infiltrate the water, you have to do it indirectly. It means the water shall go through the soil layer. Well, at least one meter of the soil layer, so it will be cleaned and, and uh, all, the, all the, well, particles will be removed through this uh, uh, infiltration device. With polluted water, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, well, the polluted water is actually declared from parking uh, places, motorways, and so on. And, well, let's say from the motorways with high traffic. Well, uh, in this case, also you have to remove the floating matters and all the harmful substances. It means basically, or very often, the oils and so on. If you want to infiltrate this water, it's 
also a little bit complicated, you can do it, but also remove the floating metals, harmful substances, the oil, and there is uh, some previous survey required. It means a hydrogeological expertise which will declare, okay, this groundwater collector is uh, not uh, to be ready for any use and the uh, groundwater will not spread the pollution into the neighboring uh, hydrogeological collectors. Okay. The legislation according to the combined sewer overflows, well, there is a basic regulation in the water law which says uh, wastewater from the sewer overflows can be discharged only during the wet weather conditions. Well, it uh, sounds a little bit funny, but well, it's not. Uh, well, I made uh, a lot of expertise work in this area and sometimes you can find in the uh, CSO chambers very uh, critical status of the, of the chambers, uh, constructional status or operational status. So this is the basic rule. And of course, from the hydraulic uh, rules, uh, the basic approach is the mixing ratio, one to four, which can be a little bit higher, one to eight. And for a large sewer systems, if there are more than uh, 10 CSO chambers, you have to declare that the number of the CSO events <coughs> uh, is less than 15 in an average year. Well, what's the problems? Or what I see for the problems in the stormwater management in Slovakia? Well, the first problem is the small initiative of the state and local authorities. There are a lot of declarations, a board of experts, and a declaration how we, will, how we should prepare our cities for the climate change, but actually in the practice uh, is ha happening very, very uh, small uh, implementation of the, of the stormwater management. Well, also, uh, me, there are some of the cities, they have some urban drainage master plans, but prevailing majority, they have nothing so large, uh, like uh, uh, drainage master plans. Well, and if there are some master plans, the legal binding of the master plans is very low. There are some just very general uh, statements what should be do, but uh, there is no a legal binding which will push the, the new developments and the new investments into the storm water management. Well, also some municipalities, uh, they have some such kind of disillusion. Well, <clears throat> they implement some measures for storm water management and now they realized the devices need some maintenance. It, it should be renovated, it should be operated so <laughs> Very unusual, but this is also a problem. Well, the legislation, I told about the leg legislation, but all the legislation which is existing is focused on the releasing of the storm water into the receiving water or the groundwater. But what is missing is a general legislation which will push the investors uh, to implement the new infrastructure for the stormwater management, a general leg legislation, and then is there a big luck for the uh, legislation which will prescribe the design rules or construction operation of stormwater devices. Other problems <clears throat> is, the, is the charging of the, of the water. It looks like a very progressive step but on the other hand, the, the uh, water utilities, uh, they have actually an income from, from this uh, when they uh, deal with the, with the storm water. And therefore, <clears throat> if you will implement the modern storm water management, it means the treatment on site, the water utilities, they lose actually their income. So because of that, the position of the water utilities is neutral 
or even maybe negative to, to this modern stormwater utility uh, management. Uh, well, uh, also maybe the problem is that the uh, status, hydro class status of the sewer network is uh, very good. There are actually no floods uh, in the past, maybe just few of them, but the hydro class status is, is very good. Uh, well, and <clears throat> also the decision makings, well, if there are no legislation, of course, <clears throat> uh, well, there will be uh, some chaotic development in the stormwater management area. Okay, I will make it short because my time is up. Few examples from the capital of the Slovakia, Bratislava, you can see on the left side and, uh, and rehabilitation of the, of the tramway which is, uh, well, in the city center, I will say. And from the same city, same municipality, same decision makers, uh, and rehabilitation, which is maybe one kilometer from the first one, you see the difference. However, they declare it's uh, semi-permeable pavements. Uh, well, I will say in, in one or two years, it will be, uh, payment without any infiltration, which is what is typical for, for the municipalities in Slovakia. Other examples, uh, well, <clears throat> this is the new shopping mall. Uh, you can see there are a lot of, of green uh, uh, roofs in, in the capital, but it's uh, mainly driven by the, the echo image of the, of the developments or, or the investments company. They want to be very ecologic, progressive, and so on. So <clears throat> they built uh, primarily the visible green infrastructure. It means the roofs, uh, rainwater gardens, and so on. But that's all. <laughs> Just the, the vi visible parts the invisible infiltration devices, actually, they, they are not in place. Okay, this is also this roof, what's very interesting. Uh, this is a, a swimming pool, which is on the roof of the shopping mall. And, <clears throat> well, also an example from the, from the uh, city, from the, from the city center of Bratislava, green roofs which are very typical for the new developments. And one example which I re recommend not to follow, this is a green roof and <laughs> which collapsed. And actually the problem was not the green roof, but the construction of the, of the building. Actually it is not a building for living, just a parking lot. And they collapsed from the, from the fifth floor. Uh, we called it pancake effect. The fifth floor collapsed, then the fourth, third, and now you have hole until the ground floor. Uh, fortunately, it, this happens in, in the early morning, so no workers were there or no other persons. So very lucky, <laughs> the, but you see what can the, the green roof be uh, like. Okay. Future perspectives, I, I have uh, told it already, we need a new legislation, technical regulation, and this is my personal opinion. Well, the modern infrastructure for the rainwater is very good, very attractive, but in the city centers, we have to, to implement the combined green, gray, and blue infrastructure for the rainwater management. Okay, thank you for your attention and <laughs>